we've noticed over the past um, couple decades, uh, and in the literature, it seems that there's a um, median age of onset for UV melanoma about age 60, with actually a male predominance. Um, but uh, we see quite a few patients, and we started noticing there's actually quite a few young females um, actually that were presenting with the disease. Um, and upon further questioning, um, it turned out that we were able to isolate two distinct, uh, what look like, uh, cancer accumulations of uveal melanoma in young females, one being in North Carolina and the other one being in Alabama. Um, the one cluster in North Carolina is uh, five girls uh, all under the age of 30. Uh, three have actually uh, went to the same high school. Um, the other cancer cluster in uh, Alabama is three women who are also under the age of 40, actually all college dorm, ra uh, dorm roommates uh, for all four years of college. So we first went to the different uh, departments of health and said, hey, can you tell us a little bit about what your incidence of UV melanoma is in your county in the state? Just to see maybe if there was an increased incidence in overall. Um, but it looks like when you actually calculate something called the standard incidence ratio, which is looking at the observed number of cases over how many cases you would expect for this particular disease, there actually didn't seem to be an increased incidence overall, which actually makes the finding of these cancer, potential cancer clusters, actually even more curious because you could think to yourself, okay, what is it about young women and potentially an environmental exposure or something else that could have caused this or been some sort of factor in contributing to the development of this disease. Um, so we're working very closely with the Department of Health, um, working on a questionnaire, trying to move forward to see if we could uh, discover um, an underlying etiology um, for this disease.